He's a 20 year straight, get to work on time. What? Can't skip me, right, Max? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Can you say twin turbo V8 and new Corvette Z07? I can, just did. Mercedes almost built some pickup trucks. Tesla says, autonomous vehicles, give us three years. And Audi isn't impressed with all that carbon fiber. Plus, we got rapid fire news. Bam. Brrr, what's up, Friday? I'm Derek D. Fastlane Daily is happening all up in here. All up in here. Certain German automakers like BM Dubs are really riding that carbon fiber train, like in the new i3 and i8. There is carbon fiber construction all up in there. But Audi, on the other hand, plans to use a mix of different materials to build models in the future. For one, Audi says carbon fiber only construction is too expensive to use at scale and it takes too long to produce a carbon fiber piece. Not to mention, it also means more expensive for the old working man. Am I right, AK? Yes, you are, Derek. Yeah. Instead, Audi will use a blend of high strength steel, plastics, laminated steel, aluminum, and carbon fiber with a goal of eventually melting several technological materials to produce lightweight but strong products. Well, the science behind it is very perplexing. You have to get in there with the... Uh, <clears throat> Whoa. Oh. What happened there? I don't know. Uh. Strange. Yeah. Tesla CEO Elon Musk loves to stir the pot. He's also a cocky dude. That's what stirring the pot is. Yep. In a recent interview, he let it slip that Tesla driverless vehicles will be able to take care of 90% of the average drive in just three years. Yeah, before some of you watching even graduate high school, this dude is saying a car may be able to drop you off itself and pick you up. Sounds pretty impressive. But Musk added that getting a car those last 10% to be truly autonomous is extremely difficult. It's still cool, and I wouldn't mind my car taking over to deal with traffic and stuff, although I still would be nervous, I think. You know, sleep with one eye open. Right. I'd be like, yeah, I know it could drive itself, but... <laughs> it's constantly doing that. That's only natural. Yeah. <laughs> That's a natural thing. In other news, Elon Musk is working on a time machine, and you should be able to travel in the fourth dimension within five years' time. You know, head back to 1955 to that enchantment under the sea dance, watch your dad knock out Biff, and get your future parents to kiss on the dance floor so you don't disappear. I don't know if that's a movie or not. I think it I sounds made, familiar. But does it? Yeah. I might have just made that up. Yeah. Biff. Oh, strange name to just randomly choose. Yeah. Word on the street is... Word is money, brother. And it's also that Mercedes had developed prototypes of two pickup trucks based on the Nissan Titan and Frontier. This info comes from Road and Track. The rebadged models would have received styling updates inside and out, plus modified suspensions. But plans were eventually scrapped because Mercedes wanted the trucks to have plug-in hybrid and regular hybrid variants, in addition to many other engine options. But Nissan was like, uh, that doesn't fit our plans. So I guess the, the only Mercedes truck will remain the G-Wagon. But Infiniti is also reporting that they're working on a luxury pickup. So hopefully it's not a put down. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Oh yeah. Besides the Cadillac El Mirage concept looking sexier than sexy, there was a wicked powerful 4.5 liter turbo V8 under the hood as well. Now it appears that wasn't just for show as GM is planning to use that engine in a future Corvette, most likely the Z06 successor, which will be called the Z07. In the El Mirage, the engine made 500 things that a jockey rides, but in the Corvette, we can expect to see something in the 600 horsepower range, which is exactly consistent with what we had previously reported. Now circling back to the El Mirage, it was made, sorry, to preview Cadillac's flagship, which is now confirmed for a 2016 launch with engines ranging from a three liter turbo V6 to the 420 horsepower twin turbo V6 in the Caddy V Sport, and of course, the Concepts 4.5 liter V8 unit. Lots of options there, Caddy. Bob Schumann Jr. would be impressed, although I don't think he knows anything about engines. I don't know. He knows a lot. He claims he does. Oh, he, that, that's not true. Is it legit? I thought so. Uh, that, that blue direct red uh, the yeah. thing, I don't know if... 400 miles per hour in six seconds? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure he's too... Uh... All right. Time to hit the fast track for some rapid fire news. Bam. Bam. Brr -ow. Eric, are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Green donked, out Dodge, green donked out Dodge Charger, more like danked out with those marijuana leaf spinner rims riding high, literally. 
In Portland, Andrew, middle name Frank, robbed a bank, leaves car keys in the bank, gets caught, jail shanked. 80 miles per hour, speed limit on some Utah roads. It's safer, faster, better, smarter. They got the right idea. Three idiots impersonate cops to cut the line to buy Grand Theft Auto 5. Get caught later, run and stop signs. My boy Victor Cruz cruising in his Ferrari, California. Cruise that Ferrari to Carolina and cross the Panthers on Sunday. Okay. And that's a wrap fire news. Bye bye. Nice. Holstered those. Got a little tripped up. But I brought it right back. Yeah. Saved it. I think people understand. It's yeah. really fast. Yeah, it's so fast, you know? FLD, question of the day. Since we have a predominantly male audience here, is a woman more attractive to you if she can drive a manual? There it is. Like, say, you're on the fence with some chick, then you see she drives a manual Jeep with the doors off and her hair blowing in the wind, wearing a bikini top, blasting Motley Crue. Check. Yes. Right? Okay. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D. Let us know. All right. That'll end this week's episode of Fast Lane Daily. If you didn't see our Frankfurt Motor Show coverage, go back and watch it. And if you did, watch it again. Link's in the description. Also, happy birthday to the coolest sister a brother could ask for. Happy birthday, Leeds. That's a nickname we have for her. Nice. Ah. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Sorry. Yeah. Happy birthday, Liz. All right. I'm Derek D, FastLaneDaily.com, social media styles to be copped, and they're all right here. Right? Yep. Have a great weekend, everybody. Friday. Derek D, people always stop me on the street and they say, AK, hey, what is Derek D really like? And what do you say? I say, what you see is what you get. Yeah, that's pretty, that's about right. Speed <laughs> <laughs> ink marking two. Wow. <laughs> What's the speed limit? <laughs> <It's> speeding. <laughs> Instead, how do we, uh, for some of you watching even graduate high school, <laughs> we hear those? Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, rock out. Loving those sirens. Besides the Cadillac El Mirage concept, should we stop? What are we doing? Keep going. All right. There was a wickedly powerful poor poor point. <laughs> I feel like those sirens are coming. <laughs> Besides the Cadillac El Mirage concept looking sexier than sexy, right Max? Yeah. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.